Who's the next box office draw for the next generation? Or the next GOAT? Or the next Mount Rushmore? Because in my opinion, which of course it's subjective and it's like assholes, everyone has them and they all stink. But in my opinion, you gotta cap it off at Cena slash Rock, I guess. Those are the last of the big marquee names. Brock doesn't count. And I know you're thinking, well, what do you mean? Okay. Let's say you got Bruno San Martino, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold. Rock Cena. I'm not talking about what they can do in the ring, their ability. I'm talking about impact and status in the in the business. Think about it. Hogan, Austin, Rock, Cena. I know I said San Martino too, but that's that's too far back for me even. So I'm going Hogan, Austin, Rock, Cena of the last big marquee names. Who's the legends in 20 years? I don't see many. And that is what's scary about the current state of wrestling. You see Orange Cassidy as one of the greats? No. Maybe Kenny Omega because he's pretty good in ring, but he does too much of the fruity shit. Not many. AJ. That list is thinning out. They are in trouble of killing a business. Even people in NXT, I don't see any of them as future legends. Is that a problem? Or is that just the natural evolution of things? Wrestling will die out for good in 20 years or so. Maybe sooner. Maybe 10. Because they don't have anything to draw the people in anymore. They're killing kayfabe left and right. I don't know. That was one to think on. Let me know in the comments who you think is a future GOAT. Future Hall of Famer. Future Mount Rushmore. <laughs>